Hi guys. Today I want to talk to you about some furniture pieces that I got. My history with buying thrifted furniture is not vast. I just haven't really gotten into it, but I do have a few pieces. So I thought I'd show you some of the furniture pieces that I have. When I say furniture, I mean, I think this is a piece of furniture. The other one I'm going to show you is kind of a piece of furniture, but what is furniture? You know what I'm saying? In conclusion, I bought this piece many years ago. I bought it from an estate sale. I let it sit for a long time before I did anything with it. It was under $50. I don't recall exactly what I paid for it. I had been wanting something like this. I found this in a garage at an estate sale. It was covered in junk and it also housed a bunch of tools and nails and things like that. Garage type things. I threw all of the contents of the drawers away. I pulled all the drawers out. I think I hosed everything down and really scrubbed the drawers because it was an outdoor piece and I wanted it to bring it indoors. It was very dirty. I left this in storage for a while and finally I took it out and I made it into a piece of furniture. I bought hairpin legs at a hardware store and then I took on this little project. And this was something new for me. I'd never done anything like this before. I know this isn't like a huge transformation, but basically I cleaned it and added legs to it. I feel like from 2015 to 2017, everyone talked about hairpin legs. I think because it's metal, that's an appropriate leg for this for this piece. Six drawers across, three drawers down. Six times three is 18, that's 18 drawers. A lot of storage. The reason I like this is because it reminds me of an old office piece, a mid-century office piece. Here we have it, this is, this is the piece. These are little metal filing drawers, so they've got holes on them. I like the style of pull. I like that these have a slot for labels and that some of these also still have their labels. This is the vintage nature of it. Keep some cords. Let's see what else. I do have just a bunch of kind of random stuff in here. I'm going to show you a little bit more closely how I added the legs. They're not great. I'm not a DIY person. What I did was I had to put a little wooden brace, glue that, and then screw this hairpin leg into the wooden brace. No one other than us will look at it. I think it turned out pretty well. There we have it. That is one piece of furniture. This was a good beginner DIY project. It didn't require any real expertise. I thought, let's style it up a little. I'm just gonna put some things on it that I normally have on it. I'll show you what that looks like as well. It is a different day. I wanted to show you this piece of furniture. This is a foot locker. It's made of metal. It is this nice bright yellow color, which was the thing that I found unusual about this piece. I feel like trunks were very popular for a long time. People were buying trunks and turning them into tables. I bought an old Samsonite suitcase and turned it into a cat bed during that period, probably 10 years ago or so. I wanna say it's maybe three feet long and 14 inches wide. I think that's the other thing I liked about this is this is a very small trunk. It's not too large. I use it for storage. I got this at a garage sale. I gathered that this was the garage sale of a person who had some sort of resale business before because there were some antiques. This is a foot locker. Did I say it was a storage trunk? It's a foot locker. I think foot lockers were used as suitcases. So I believe this was used as a suitcase. It doesn't have any locks on it. Instead, it has these latches. They open up like this. The interior is made of wood. It's a great piece. I just have it at the end of the bed. Put stuff on top of it. Occasionally a cat will sleep on top as well. Here's the trunk on the top. There are some addresses. So this was definitely used as a traveling trunk. There's a little sticker. There are latches on all sides. It also has this chain. Then I've just got some shoes inside. So this is the inside. I do have on my bucket list a certain type of steamer trunk that I want to find, a vintage Louis Vuitton steamer trunk. I know people have found them in thrift stores before. That is my dream, is to find in a thrift store, because I know you can buy them online. I want to find a vintage Louis Vuitton steamer trunk. There's another thrifter, Mid Maud Marion is her name, and she found in a thrift store in, I believe, Washington State, a Louis Vuitton steamer trunk, and she made a video about it. So I'm going to link that video below. You'll be shocked at what she found. She hit the thrifting jackpot 
with her finds. It's not unheard of. People find all sorts of things in thrift stores. That is all, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you're having a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Thank you.